I'm Maya Sendermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that have Asperger's Syndrome or ASD. I also will reach out to friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody out there who is um, in the autism community or the community in general. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about on occasion. But before I dive into tonight's topic, I have several things to mention. So, number one, please be sure to check out this TEDx talk by one of my favorite people, Daniel Wendler. You can also find my interview with him in the archives from 2016. And I also uh, would like to let you guys know that I'm going to start doing live sessions every Sunday on my own Facebook page, Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer, because I would like to start having real conversations with people on a regular basis, as well as grow my audiences right here on YouTube. I also would like to recommend that you check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. And you can find those under Hello World 240.wordpress.com. That's Hello World 240.wordpress.com. And I also would like to let you know as well that I'm going to be at a couple of autism conferences. I will be at the Chattanooga Autism Conference in a couple weeks. And then again at another autism conference on uh, the 3rd and 4th of May. So please be sure to check both of those out. And what I would like to do is give some tips and advice to the Asperger community. And one of the things I would like to do is uh, talk about some of the unwritten rules of society. And of course, uh, I live in a very westernized culture and this culture is not very straightforward. A lot of us are taught to be more passive aggressive or rather being polite where you can be nice to somebody's face even though you don't like them very much or you're not interested. And it's also uh, considered bad or, or a taboo to tell somebody the truth that you're not interested in them or you just don't care for them. And rather, it's better to drop little hints by uh, being polite with the white little lies or excuses. And so what I wanted to do was give some examples when somebody's not interested. So... Uh, uh, three years ago, I had a falling out with a close friend, and at the tail end of our friendship, we ended up uh, going out for tea. And uh, sh what she would do is she would buy tea for two, and she would share that tea with me. And, uh, and so when we sat down and met one of those last times, one of the first hints that she dropped was that uh, she wasn't going to buy tea for two anymore. She was just going to buy a tea for one or tea for herself. And another one that I noticed was when I tried to invite her uh, to a um, event at my congregation to make up for something else. She said, well, I'll have to check my schedule. And then when we met, I never heard from her again. So those two things uh, let you know that the friendship is over when they stop buying gifts or stop buying things for you and they buy things for themselves. That means that uh, you're no longer friends and the comment, uh, I'll have to check my schedule, is a way of uh, brushing you off and saying, no, I'm not interested. But rather than saying that, they just drop that excuse. Other ways that people aren't interested is... Uh, Let's say they come to your house, but they're not comfortable with the being there based on the, the, uh, the atmosphere of the party or they feel out of place, but they, uh, they're too cowardly to tell the hostess that or tell you that. So what they do is they politely tell you that um, their husband has a headache. Like, again, at the end of our friendship, my ex-friend and her husband came over to my house and they acted like they didn't want to be there. And she acted like she didn't want to be with me. And one of the things that they did to let me know that they weren't interested was uh, they told me that they had a headache, that her husband had a headache. And of course, I knew that was an excuse. Uh, but 
Other excuses that people give when they're not interested or they've lost interest is uh, you want to talk to them on the phone and they say things like, yeah, I'm not really much of a phone person. And that means that I don't want to talk to you or I don't think it's a good idea for us to be talking on the phone anymore. Uh, some of the other ones that you would probably hear is, uh, I'm not much of a Facebook person. And that means that they're not going to respond to you on Facebook. And another big one that uh, you hear is that they often blow you off rather than telling you what's going on and they tell you a white lie like, oh, I'm so sorry, but I've been uh, really busy with work and I've been really busy taking care of the baby. I'll call you in a few days and they never do. So again, those are things that you can look for. Now, do I consider that kind of behavior acceptable? Absolutely not. But you know, you're not going to change everybody else's minds and you aren't going to make them talk to you. In fact, there are lots of cases where you will try to confront the person and they're never going to open up because they're too scared to hurt your feelings. And they're too scared to uh, let you know how they feel because uh, it's just the way it is. Some cultures are a little more closed off while others are more open and straightforward. So. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe. I post videos every uh, Monday. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.